In the Shiva Bhagavatam, you read about the instruction of Prahlad Maharaj. Have you heard of Prahlad? Prahlad Maharaj? Yes. Hmm. And Prahlad Maharaj said, Kali is spiritual knowledge from the age of five. So, in society today, you see, there is so much unrest today, so much stress. So much distress. Three out of five patients, you go to a doctor, 
Call your doctor because of the of the depression. And the depression. And when they get the depression, if you get depression, you can't satisfy the material needs. You can't satisfy material desire. Our wish list is very big. I want this, I want this, I want this, I want this. When you can't get it, then what happens? You get in depression. And depression results in, in so many negative factors. If you're in depression, people think of suicide, people think of doing so many evil things. As you may know, drug abuse is very common in India now. At one time, it was common in the West, and now it's very common in the campuses of India. Why do people t- t- take drugs? Would somebody like to offer a reply? What is it that influences people to take drugs? Anyone wants to answer? Oh. Why do people take drugs? People take drugs because they feel that they can forget all their histories and they feel high. When a spiritual master went to the West in 1966, at that time, drug abuse was very common in America. And people, people were saying, take this drug and you feel high. But even if you feel high, only for a short time. Just like an airplane in the sky. An airplane can only be in the sky as long as there's enough fuel, fuel isn't it? Before you run out of gas, it has to land. You can drive your car only as long as you have enough petrol. Before the petrol runs out, you have to stop. So similarly, we may take these drugs, they make you feel high for some time. And if you want to feel really high, you should take the of the Lord. So, we must cultivate spiritual knowledge and material knowledge both side by side. And we have so many PhDs connected to this cloth who are doing the PhD, who have done the PhD, but they are also doing true knowledge and spiritual knowledge. Both are very important. And in society today, does anyone have any warm feelings towards anyone? A title is love and care. Does anyone really care for you? No. We don't care because we don't know what is civilized life. And in the absence of spiritual guidelines, we don't have any clear direction to what should be the path. So Prahmana says, people do not know how real happiness can be found. Then most people will think that you can get happiness by material thing. But if you want real happiness, what do you have to do? You have to try and establish a relationship with the Lord. And it doesn't matter how much you succeed, you can't be happy by material effort. In America, there was a survey done two years ago, and people have asked a simple question, what is it that you want in life that money cannot buy? 
But generally, money can buy everything. You know, you know? You can buy your political position, anything. People who ask, what is it that you want in life that money cannot buy? And you know what was the answer? Anybody would like to get? The number one answer was peace of mind. You will become a millionaire or a trillionaire. Like what do you see in these big businessmen? Every day they are starting a new company. And they have so much, but they are not satisfied. Is that right? Okay, well, if you see the big business houses in India, they expand every day. And why? They don't satisfy. They think they should get more and more. So then greed for more and more and more takes us into every every aspect of life. Our goal is we have material facilities, so we want to dedicate our life to getting more and more and more. But does this more and more and more satisfy you? No. You may think that everyone in America is happy. And as you know, the IT boom has taken so many Indians to the bed. And now, in most of these Western countries, the IT department is predominantly people from India. And many of them are from the South. And many of them, they are in office. We speak in a local language, telling me what time I have. One of my devotees was telling me, they have a department of 10 people, and nine of them speak Telugu. And they were speaking Telugu all the time. And the boss of America told them, if you don't, if you don't stop speaking in a native language, all of you will be fired. So, the point is that just pursuing material life is not the answer. You see today, society is being unrest, distress, misery, old age, disease. That Krishna says, "Kalaya Mashajatam." Material life is nothing but poor misery. You may say, where is the misery? A child, they come out of the mother's womb. Did they come out smiling or crying? Oh, right. Why? When a child, the mother's womb is a very painful condition. Probably should say, if you had the experience, then for one second, the pain you, the pain you experience in the, in the mother's womb, you, you would die. It is so painful. Then, old age. Does anybody like old age? Can we have some feedback from the audience? Does anyone like old age? You tell an old man how young he looks, he will, he will feel flattered. And you tell a young man how old he, will, he looks, he will feel insulted. Alright? You don't like being called old. But you, you do get old. Now they have the anti-aging shop. You know what is an anti-aging shop? Who knows? Yeah. Yes. What does it mean? Any aging shop means 
a shop jacket is where you go to do makeup. The makeup is such it makes old people look young. So you don't want old age when old age comes in, isn't it? Then death. Is anyone like that? And Lord Ram ruling over the planet. We had Ram Rajya. Ram Rajya means the glorious satisfaction that people felt in Lord Ram. And Lord Ram was himself going to disguise to see if the citizens have any problem. Is there anything that needs to be satisfied? He was so concerned. And the king gave him Brahmanas jewelry. The Brahmanas took it and gave it back. And in Lord Ram's regime, you could choose your moment of death. It means you could decide, okay, I'll die ten days down the road. But now, you don't have that. So death comes. But then, if it was just birth and disease only, it would not be so bad. There are three other types of misery that we all encounter. One is, misery is caused by the mind. Does your mind cause you misery? You may say, how can a mind cause us anything? Cause us trouble. Who knows, how can the mind trouble you? You know. You see a friend with a new car and you're driving an old Fiat car. Did you ever see a Fiat car? No. Oh, that my mind says, you're useless. Yeah. Yeah. You're driving a Fiat car. Everyone else is driving a Volvo. You see your friend has something that you don't have. Then you feel bad, isn't it? Then, it's your nature. As you may know, that on the planet, the frequency of drought, earthquakes, and flood has increased a lot now. Now the frequency of natural disasters is 20 times faster than it was in the olden day. And why is material nature striking? This is how law come about. You had COVID. Have you all forgotten it? Or did you? you haven't forgotten it completely. Okay. So we had COVID-1, COVID-2, and then there are COVID-3 in China. So, well, why does this happen? It happens in reaction to our sinful activity. For every action, there's a reaction. In the Bible, there's a nice statement. As you sow, we should reap. I will say that it should be an action to be happy in this time. Just like you know, I was told that your IIT exams finished only yesterday. Is that right? So I'm huh? I'm For it. So they finished but the score you get are based on how you, how much you prepared, isn't it? So, the nature gives us to us. We in the Vedic civilization believe that the cow must be protected. We have seven mothers. One mother is the mother from whose womb you take your birth. That is the first mother. Second mother is the wife of the king. Third mother is wife of the brahmana. 
Un mares de recado. Cao que vive milk. En el mercado de milk, bien grow. So it's red. So, mother earth. There was no one about mother earth. So, cow should be respected. And cows should not be allowed to be slaughtered and so on. But when we allow all this, the material strikes and giving us some material. So, Vedic civilization means you learn the higher values of life. You are, I understand that most of you are PhD students. How many in the audience are PhD students? And how many of you already have PhD? So many of them do a combination of M drug and yeah. One thing that amazes me is generally a PhD student is supposed to write a thesis on something original. Yes. Am I right? And many of you are professors. So I, I, <laughs> we have a lot of PhD friends. So I tell them, how many PhD students are there in India? In the Indian, just like in the IITs alone, they have 10,000 and more PhD students, especially in the bigger IITs. And I, I asked them, what original thesis did you write on? Because how much original stuff can you produce? So, they don't have an answer. So, Generally, to get an IIT thesis, you have to write something original, isn't it? <laughs> That's not an easy job. So, some of the students are frank, and they tell us how they manage to publish an original paper. So, in the material world, we may try our best, but you cannot find any real answer. Whereas, we take spiritual culture to the view. Bhagavad Gita is a book of knowledge. The Bhagavad Gita is not a book of religion. It is a book of knowledge. And knowledge meant for entire humanity. Uh, and the Bhagavad Gita, for example, has been translated in more than a hundred languages over the world. And People are reading it all over the world. Why? Because it's a book of knowledge. What are the main elements of Bhagavad Gita? One, it helps you to understand who is God. God has a name also. God has a personality also. In Bhagavad Gita it is written, Shri Bhagavan Uvacha. The Supreme Lord is speaking. What does he speak? Transfer the knowledge that will give you happiness. So, Bhagavad Gita teaches you who is God, his identity. Sometimes, if you ask in the West, what does God look like? And people give you the answer of Santa Claus. Have you seen a Santa Claus? Christmas dress. White because so what is what does God look like? And it is the scripture. So the Bhagavad Gita explains this is the body and the soul. And the nature of the soul is it is what is it? Eternal. So the soul there's no birth, what is the permanent solution? That is what Krishna is giving us. Krishna says Give up all righteous and religiousness and just surrender to me. So if you surrender to Krishna, Krishna guarantees you 
you won't get in between like. Oh. Oh. Chant the form of Krishna. But Maharaj, how to surrender in practical life? We have what is the process to surrender? Yeah, we have thousands of devotees. Or even your own sir. He is a professor. He teaches. He is a family man. But he also practices spirituality. And you can see this can be done practically by everyone. So chanting is the beginning stage. Start with chanting. That's very important. Do you, you, you chant? How many rounds? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. The chanting is back to the Any more questions? Any more questions? I was told that you students are very inspired and engaged in spiritual activities. When the program be organized, 200 people come. Have any questions? They are not dominating. I mm. bad things happen to good yes. And good things happen to bad people. Yes. <laughs> we can't as a result of our karma. And karma will just like when you're born. You're born with a quota of happiness and distress. Prasma said. Doesn't no matter how much you work, you, you will not get a drop of more happiness, more investment for you. So, when you come to serve the Lord, the Lord minimizes your punishment. It doesn't become zero. And you may say, I'm taking a spiritual life. Why is this happening to me? What am I suffering you are experiencing? There's a lot less than you will experience. So, we all have a quota of happiness and distress. It makes us that. Yeah. We feel that our desires get changing every time. One time we desire for cycle and we get that we desire for a motorbike and when we get that we desire for a four wheeler. So every time our desire gets increasing and increasing. Uh, so what oh, is it wrong to have desire or our desire should be No, the desire should be to serve the Lord. And to serve the Lord. You get your PhD, double PhD, triple PhD, no problem. Krishna doesn't say, don't do PhD. In fact, most of our students are very educated. So, would you do it? As for the direction of the scripture. I'm giving you a chance 16 hours. I'm giving you a chance to hire Krishna Mandra every day. And how many of you do 16 hours? Thank you. Last question. Last thought. Last question. Yes. Namaste, Maharaj. My question is that 
लिए जब आप समाज के उत्थान विकास के लिए कुछ कार्य कर रहे हैं ऐसी स्थिति में मन को सबल बनाए रखने के लिए क्योंकि बाह्य परिस्थितियाँ अनुकूल नहीं है किसी की भलाई जब हम करते हैं तो, तो मन को सबल बनाए रखने के लिए हमारे परम शब्द क्या होना चाहिए जिससे हमें निरंतर प्रेरणा मिलता रहे आपे को शास्त्र के आधार पर जीना चाहिए और वही कार्य करना चाहिए जो अनुकूल हो जो प्रतिकूल हो उसे त्यागना चाहिए साधु संगत में रखो वही नाम का उच्चारण करो लास्ट क्वेश्चन बैग ये Why are we? Why we are waiting for the next birth to repay our karmic creation? The process of the samsara birth and death takes place automatically. But if you have reached purity completely, then you don't get a material body. Then you get a spiritual body. As long as you have a material body, you have to go to the samsara. Which is very painful. Any more questions? Yes, next one. Private bathroom. Yes. This public one. Yes. Real success is if you base your life based on the teaching of the Lord, and if you lead a disciplined life, that is real success. To have to engage in illicit sex, gambling, intoxication doesn't give you real happiness. You can see that yourself. So many people are getting drunk. Are they happy? No. You can have unlimited material possibility. Still, you will not be happy. There's so many. Is there a shortage of millionaires in India? I don't want to take any name, but there are. I'm the number of millionaires, isn't it? They open a new factory every day, but are they happy? You know. They say, simple living, high thinking. Live simply. Think high, which means think about the goal of life. Which is I mean. I think in simple living. I want to live as high as I can, but live think like the animal. You can see if a dog crosses the street in a red light, then the police arrest him. Huh? If a dog crosses the street in a red light, then the police arrest him. Yes or no? If you cross the street in a red light, you get arrested. Why? Because your life is a life of responsibility. So I thank you all very much. Okay. I want to thank. Yes, you have a question there. In the spiritual world, the distress is different. 
Krishna said, they all want to serve Krishna. They all want to serve the Lord. So they understand. But they don't, they're not, they feel they're not serving the Lord enough. It's like envy. In material life there is envy. In spiritual life there is envy. And then you want to serve Krishna more. Thank you very much. Thank you.